Okay, w this video is about what I can and cannot tell you about over unity. And it doesn't matter all this information that I gathered that you can focus in and read. Doesn't matter if I'm telling you the truth or not. Doesn't matter about anything that I compose. Why? I am the original person who made the very word itself over unity. Okay? But these people are pushing the envelope of trying to prove perpetual motion. When a sun, a star itself is not even perpetual motion because it turns into a supernova and explodes. So nothing lasts forever. So, what I can tell you about my project and what I can't tell you about my project is with this video and hopefully I think it's short because basically I'm cycling that one battery. I'm bringing in my simulated, not solar, but simulated solar to make sure that I'm pushing enough amps and voltage into this battery to not only run my load but keep the battery charge so if you go over here and we look at 13.1 and point uh 13.0 that this battery beneath this which is here was fluctuating at i turned it down to one amp and then it started to go down past uh past one to zero and then i turned it up which you now see four amps that's what the 4a is and now it's went up to two it went up to two so is a load on there this is the load and this is what's going into the load it is being taken from this cord from this device right here, this device, this cord, okay, that is coming off that battery. Now, how do we know it's cycling against it? Because this is what charges the battery. So let's right quick show, let's see if we can plug this in and go up here as we plug that in. And there's a symbol for the grid. Okay. So we unplugged it and the symbol for the grid goes away. So this plug is the grid. That's going into this solar charger. And from the grid. And this one is coming out from this solar uh, charger. In from the battery. Okay. And then it's running. Let's go up here to my three prong. This meter here, which now puts into this load. Okay, so we got that. And we understand that. So my whole job is to keep cycling that battery off grid. Okay, let's put this in the frame. Off grid and keep cycling for it and watch how long and then record it on my data okay and then i can make observations for whatever you want to call this i call it over unity okay you can call it whatever you want to but guess what no one else is running their house or putting energy into their house and recycling the one little battery that we got that one little battery right there and keep cycling and I had it hooked up before where it wasn't cycling but once you understand that I took it off grid and I'm cycling that one little battery and it's now cycling and how long I can keep that cycle like that to get the data I need to run the things I cannot talk about, which is these solars that run in my basement, 
which means that they run off some kind of electricity okay so I take a little electricity these are my boost that's the things I can talk about and I put that boost into this grid which now this battery and the in the thing that charges the battery are running together which makes a cycle just like a water wheel and which we've been explaining what over unity is which is alternating DC current means that alternating means energy must be going into this machine and out of this machine at the same time and it is is cycling that means that energy is going into this battery and energy is going into this grid so a water wheel what lets water in and also lets water out i just wanted to explain that 